to More Than a Celebrity, where in each episode, we bring you the best and brightest of the business side of celebrity, both entrepreneurial-minded and cause-focused from Advertising Week's global stage, covering the gamut of advertising, branding, social impact, and media in the moment. In this episode, we hear from Kevin O'Leary, also known as Mr. Wonderful. Kevin is a businessman, entrepreneur, and known television personality from the hit series Shark Tank. Advertising Week recently sat down with Kevin to discuss the challenges small businesses are facing in today's perplexing economy. Here's the challenge for any small business right now. So full employment, we haven't seen a slowdown in consumer demand. I don't care what it is. Is it insecticide? Is it greeting cards? Is it commercial kitchens? Cupcakes, gym equipment, wireless charger? We have all that stuff. We haven't seen a slowdown yet. And at the same time, you're watching all this doom and gloom, and I see it too, and so do the CEOs of these companies, and their decision, the hard part of all this is what to do about inventory going into holiday and Q1. Do you pull back because you think this recession is going to hit us in Q4, which we're basically in right now, and holidays coming up in a few weeks, extended holiday this year by over three days, which if you're doing 200 million, 150 million in sales, a lot of inventory. And so you're trying to gauge the pessimism out there as the stock market tries to forecast the future in 2023. Meanwhile, your sales are humming. So do you want to leave anything on the table? And more of a perplexing situation coming out of the pandemic is most of these companies have gone past 50% direct-to-consumer models. Big, succulent margins, direct-to-consumer, bypassing retail, advertising digitally, acquiring customers economically. They know their CAC, they know their subscription services, they know the attrition rates, they're making money, and if they sell product online that they don't have to ship, well, you should burn in hell in perpetuity for that. first question every investor's analyst asks you, and we're no different, do you know your CAC, your customer acquisition costs? Do you know your attrition rate of customers? Do you know the lifetime value of that customer? And are you now past 50% direct-to-consumer? Because when you get past 50% direct-to-consumer, you get something more valuable than anything. You get data your own data, size, preference, flavor, frequency of purchase, price point, regional disparities on flavors and all kinds of sizes and differences in people's preference. Just like the wine business, for example, what people drink in Florida is completely different than what they drink in Ohio. And if you're selling direct, which you can to 42 states now, you have that data. And that data is priceless. It's the new oil. Data is the new oil. If you understand your CAC, I can pour four, five, six million dollars onto it and grow the business dramatically because we already know I'm just pouring gasoline on the fire. So I've always said to my companies, I want a third of marketing to be experimental every quarter. Because if you're just sitting on your laurels doing the same old crap, you're missing out and your competitors are going to do something else. So start experimenting because the value of something that works, that you find through just creative chaos, is extremely higher than what you've already been doing because you start losing yields right away. Whatever your strategy is, and let's say you're getting a 2% response on it, watch, six months from now, it'll be 1.7 or 1.5. What's the next thing? What's the next idea? What's the next drop? What's new? Because it's so noisy out there, as you all know, you've got to keep creating, and everybody has the tools to do that. So thank you very much, Kevin Rusty, for joining me today. And that's a wrap for this episode of More Than a Celebrity. From Advertising Week's global stage, we hope you enjoyed this inspiring and forward-thinking interview with Kevin O'Leary. See you next time.